why this video has come out. I don't even have to go in to a lot of the gory details, but it's the kind of stuff that just reminds Congressman Adam uh, Kinzinger, a Republican of the fine state of Illinois, uh, that they're out there. They're still doing awful stuff, and uh, we pay them little attention, or at least to come up with a coherent plan to address them. Congressman, very, very good to see hey, you, sir. Good to be here. Thanks. Um, it is a reminder they're always out there, and yeah. just when you think we, we're, we're on top of it, they keep pushing our buttons. What do you make of it? Well, look, I mean, it's a recruiting video for them. Uh, it's not really even aimed at us. It's aimed at people that are kind of on the verge of jihadism, you know, whether it's a lone wolf that's kind of in his mom's basement disaffected, looking for something to or whether it's somebody in the Middle East that's looking for a bigger cause and a way to, to I guess, follow out their sick ideology. Uh, that's what it's, they it's are aim good is. at recruiting. Oh, they're really I'm good at it. I'm wondering if we've passed the stage, I've raised the number of the candidates, uh, we're just going after them where they are is the issue when they've set up cells everywhere, be it in Paris, be it in Milwaukee, right. uh, where a lot of the malcontent adherents are doing their, their job. Yeah, well, that, that's a huge issue. It's spreading all over the place. And, and literally every day that goes by, they're getting a new foothold somewhere else, small community or a bigger city. This is why it's important. I mean, you have to give law enforcement the tools that they need to weed out people with these intentions. Right. Obviously, you can't screen for hearts, only for first steps. Uh, and the other thing is you have to defeat them overseas. Because right now, I always use the example, when the Chicago Bulls are really good, everybody's wearing a Bulls jersey. When they're not really good, nobody's wearing them. I've and never so, worn a Chicago Bulls jersey. Uh, we'll, get you one. we'll get you one. Uh, let me ask you know, this race right now. It's anyone's guess. I know you... I think started out a Jeb Bush supporter, might right. still be. But uh, there are a lot of folks who say after Iowa, after New Hampshire, there's a great weeding out to come. Sure. Do you buy that? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think you'll see a few drop out after Iowa, uh, probably in the realm of the people that kind of push on the social conservative side first. And then after New Hampshire, you'll probably see some weeding out. And I think when you get to South Carolina, Jeb will be in the race. I think he'll have a great New Hampshire uh, showing. I'm and then you'll have some how serious. Poorly he's polling. No, I mean, look, it's, it's, uh, if you look at New Hampshire, he's doing very well. You look at South Carolina, he's doing very strongly. Strong veteran population. He has 12 Medal of Honor recipients that have supported yeah. him. I traveled with a couple of them yesterday. Iowa, look. If he doesn't he's, make it, yeah. who would you go to? Yeah, I'm not going to think that far yet. Okay, uh, okay. But look, we have great candidates in this race. We really yeah. do. Jeb's the best. And uh, right. same guy in the car that he is in front of an audience. He's a genuine guy. All right, Congressman, thanks for taking thanks. the time. Appreciate it. How cool are you that you don't need a